Hey guys, it is finally that time. We are decluttering our lipstick collection. I am so excited to do this. I don't even think this is all the lipsticks I have. I don't, I feel like there's more hiding somewhere, but what I want to do first is actually count how many lipsticks we have here because I'm kind of intrigued to know. Oh, you might hear some plowing in the background, by the way, it's snowing, so the driveway is getting plowed right now, so that's the noise you might hear. By the way, these are all kind of dusty. Everything needs to be cleaned. That's a whole part of the decluttering is also cleaning, so don't mind that everything will be cleaned. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of count these lipsticks and just see how many we actually have to declutter. There's 36 lipsticks here. So we have 74. We have about 160 lipsticks. I think I definitely have more lipsticks somewhere. But I, I already know that I'm missing some here. So I'm going to round it up to, let's say 170. I'll probably find more lipsticks after we finish filming this video. But that is a shit ton of lipstick for one person to have. So we are going to get rid of some, I hope. <laughs> I feel like I have a thing with lipsticks. I think this is going to be the hardest declutter out of all just because I love lipstick, obviously. And I don't know, I just haven't really taken a good look into my lipstick collection in a while. So this should be fun. Let's start with this little guy right here. With this declutter, I really want to swatch as much as I can just because that's the only way I'm really going to be able to decide if I'm going to keep it or not. This is the Milani lipstick in the shade Rose Femme. These have a really strong scent to them. I'm going to do all my Milani ones right now. Just watch them. This is Black Cherry. Oh my god. <laughs> that is getting decluttered for sure. I think that's very old, honestly. This is Teddy Bear. That's pretty. And then we have Sangria. That's really pretty too. Okay, so we're definitely getting rid of Black Cherry. It's going to be the rid of pile over here. Um, Sangria... I don't know, it's still pretty smooth. I think I have other colors like this in my collection and since it is a color that I wouldn't necessarily reach for on a daily basis, I don't need too many of the same color. So we're gonna pass Sangria on as well. I'm gonna keep Teddy Bear and Rose Femme just because those are nice neutrals. Um, this little lipstick right up front here is a Kat Von D lipstick and then these two are also Kat Von D. So this one is in the shade Lovecraft. It's a really pretty, cool-toned, pinky nude. And then we have Cathedral. And then another Lovecraft. <laughs> oh my god. Something is actually wrong with me. Okay, so I think we're going to get rid of the mini Lovecraft because I don't need two of the same color. I don't know what's actually wrong with me. And I'm going to keep the other two. I love this Lovecraft color, and this is a really unique, like, darker nude and I don't really think I have anything else like that in my collection so we're gonna keep Kat Von D. This is the matte 1993 lipstick from Urban Decay. This is actually really stunning. I don't know why I don't... wow it's a really dark brown. I did not realize how dark brown that was. Okay and then this looks freaking expired. We're not even gonna swatch that because I'm just a little nervous that I'm gonna die. So that is getting thrown in the trash can after this video. I'm gonna keep 1993 because I don't have anything else like that and it's a really nice formula. This video might be a little bit different from the other ones just because I have so many lipsticks that I can't go into too much detail or else this video will be days long. So we're gonna just go quick. I really wanna get through a bunch of my Kiko lipsticks. I have a feeling I'm gonna declutter most of them. I think this is all I have. No, wait, hold on. There's a bunch of stuff in here too. Let's just get through this Kiko shit. All right, I think this might be it for Kiko, which is way too many like why do i have so many kiko lipsticks this is insane let's just get to swatching this is the kiko milano unlimited stilo in the shade 02. i do remember these from when i worked there and they were really cool because they were a lipstick like feels like a lipstick but they dried down really matte and lasted for a long time that's a really pretty pink but it's pretty sheer actually i don't know about that let's i'm just gonna swatch pretty much all of these and then see how I feel at the end. This is that same Unlimited Stilo, but in the shade 03. Ooh, that's so pretty. I might not declutter all of these because they are still really pretty, even though I can't really... Like, I'll wear these on days that I'm not filming, since I can't really recommend them. This was basically the same 
type of lipstick but just different packaging this color number 13 was actually one of my favorite colors from kiko ever i used to wear this all the time such a pretty like mauvey oh so nice i don't think i'm gonna declutter that yet just because it is one of my favorite colors i think it's so pretty i might declutter the light pink number zero two just because it's not really doing anything for me i'm not really a pink person so we'll declutter that one for sure this is just like their unlimited lipstick i think i don't know what this is called this is in the shade 505 it's a nice color it's gonna be so hard because at at one point I had like a very strong connection to all of these lipsticks. So it's, these are going to be hard to declutter. This is the shade 609 maybe. It's a very deep burgundy. Let's declutter that. I don't really need that. This is the shade 523 and it's black. <laughs> it doesn't even look like I ever wore this. I'm going to pass this on because let's be real. When am I going to wear a black lipstick? Never in my entire life. I don't know why I bought that. Actually, it was probably just because I had a discount and I figured, why the hell not? This one doesn't have a number on the bottom, so I don't know what color it is. And I just broke it at the base, so that kind of sucks. But it is a pretty color. Hmm. That's a maybe. This also doesn't have a number. What is up with that? It's weird. This is a dark red. That's really nice. Well, but you know what? Again, I have other colors like this. For darker colors, I do like to wear liquid lipsticks just because I want them to last as long as possible and not get everywhere, so passing that on. Um, what else? This was from one of their limited edition collections. This is the Intensely Lavish Lipstick in the shade 02. This is actually really pretty. I'm running out of room. These are so pigmented. Like, did you, did you see that? Like, that was just intense. Very intense. That's a nice color. Maybe. Perhaps we'll keep that. This is one of the Unlimited Stilos in the shade 11. I loved this color way back. <laughs> it's so crazy. I actually wore this. Can you believe that? I wore something like that when I used to work at Hiko. I feel like when you, when you have to wear makeup every day at a job like that, you end up diving into some more creative things because you just get sick of the same old. This is the Exotic Shine Lipstick in the shade 05. Oh my god, I have no room. Wow, that is so intense. That's so pretty. Like, honestly, I didn't even know I had that in my collection. We're going to keep that and play with it, maybe. Even though, again, I can't recommend any of these because you can't buy them. I might wear it during the summer, just like on a day that I'm not filming. So this is another one of the Unlimited Stilos in the shade 02. That's really nice. Okay, maybe I'm not going to get rid of as many of these as I hoped, but it's so hard to part with things that have like a sentimental value. And because this was like a big part of my life working at Kiko, in these lipsticks, like I remember buying pretty much each one of these. It's hard to let go of some of them. This is another Exotic Shine in the shade 06. We're gonna pass that on, I don't see myself wearing that. This is a Luscious Punk Creamy Lipstick. I think this is from another one of their limited edition collections. This is in the shade 01. That's so pretty. That is a Chelsea color right there. Man, what the hell Chelsea? Why do you do this? So at one point they came out with these Shine Lust Lip Tints. This is in the shade uh, 12, I think. These were kind of like tinted balm type lipsticks. I don't really remember. They were very sheer. I'm going to pass this on. And then this one was in the shade, it doesn't say. I don't know. But it was very bright red. They're kind of cool because they're almost like lip cream. I don't know. Very sheer. Just like a nice tint on the lips. But I don't reach for those anymore. This is the um, Vivid Color Lipstick Pencil in the shade 09. They, they were really good with lipsticks. This is another Vivid Color in the shade 07. I'm not really into that. And then this is another one in the shade 08. I don't remember buying all these. Oh, that just broke. That's a pretty color, but goodbye. And the red, I kind of want to keep. That's a really pretty color. But wash off my hand. I feel absolutely disgusting right now. Alyssa is probably dying watching this video. Alyssa, text me right now, letting me know if you are dying and cringing because I know you and this is way too messy for you. All right, so these are the only Kiko lipsticks that we're gonna keep for now. Okay, now we have a full row of MAC lipsticks. Some of these are newer, some of them are kind of old, so I definitely wanna go through these and figure out what we're keeping. Okay, so first we have the MAC matte lipstick in the shade Marrakesh. This is actually a newer one and I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so pretty, definitely keeping that. Then we have Honey Love, this is also a newer one and I wear that a lot so we're definitely gonna keep Honey Love. This is Rebel. This is actually an older 
lipstick, but it's a really intense purple, like fuchsia purple. Mm. Let's make a maybe pile for that. Then we have Breathing Fire. Pretty sure this is a really intense fuchsia <laughs> and it looks basically untouched, but oh my God, that's so intense. Wow. I'm gonna keep it just for the sake of it being so unique and different compared to other products in my collection. And last summer I had like a thing where I really wanted to get into fuchsia lipsticks. So I think that's why I purchased this one. I just never, for some reason, got around to wearing it, but we're gonna wear it because it's really cool. Next we have Chatterbox. This was one of the first MAC lipsticks that I ever purchased. I was obsessed with it. It's this really cool Barbie pink, but I think I'm gonna pass it on. I just don't wear it anymore, so. Even though it is kind of nostalgic, I'm just gonna pass it on and maybe cry a little bit, but whatever, it's fine. This is Love Lorne. I might pass this on. Yeah, that's just kind of like a baby pink. I don't know, not too into the baby pinks anymore. This was another one of like the first lipsticks I got from MAC. This is Mineralize Rich Style Surge. Um, I'm assuming the color is Style Surge. I don't really know. This is a really intense coral. It's a pretty cool color. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Blankany. This is a newer one and I actually really like this. It's a really nice nude. That's the perfect nude shade for me. So we're definitely keeping that. Then we have Retro Matte Lipstick in Nutcracker Rouge. I think I got this in one of the Christmas sets. Just a red. It's very matte. Oh wow. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's keep it. It's always good to have like a staple red and that one's like really matte and really nice so like I said with the darker colors I don't really like anything that's gonna bleed or move anywhere I want it to really set for the day and I feel like that will set for the day. So then we have Russian Red. Oh this is actually good that we're doing this because I kind of want to compare these. So Russian Red is definitely more of a blue toned red whereas Nutcracker Rouge is more orangey so they are different <laughs> they are very similar but they're different at the same time russian red definitely has more of a sheen whereas the nutcracker rouge is like very powdery matte we'll keep both of them just just because then i have these two these are two of the lip intensity lipsticks i have doe right here it's really pretty nude love that these are so comfortable on the lips very nice and then this one i actually just talked about in my february favorites it's smoked almond so we're definitely going to keep this since I just included it in my favorites. Um, and then these four lipsticks here are MAC as well. They were just from one of their little mini holiday collections. This is the shade Nouvelle Vogue. I don't know, it's a matte lipstick. Very intense pink. I'm not crazy about that. I don't really see myself wearing a color like that. So maybe not that one. This is kind of sexy. No more room. That's really pretty. That's like a peachy nude. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Whirl, which is actually one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. It's a very deep brown. What does that look like compared to the Urban Decay lipstick? I'm kind of intrigued. Oh, they're very similar. This is the Urban Decay lipstick and this is Whirl. Very, very similar. But the Urban Decay one definitely has more of a shine to it. More of a satin lipstick. And then the last one is Cream Cup, which is a classic. The cream sheen, kind of sheer, has a shine to it. Just a very pretty baby pink nude. So we're gonna keep that one as well. And we're gonna keep Whirl, and I think we're gonna get rid of Nouvelle Vogue. MAC is one of my favorite lipstick brands, so I'm not gonna pass on too many just because I know that I love that brand. They're all super intense lipsticks. They last really nice on the lips. Can't pass those on. Look the difference in my hands. <sighs> I do have one MAC liquid lipstick. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Burnt Spice. I am obsessed with this color. This is a very pretty, I need to swatch on the other hand. Really pretty nude. I love that and I get so many compliments on that every time I wear it. So I'm gonna keep that of course. Just wanted to finish out the MAC lipsticks and I think that might be it. Oh wait, no, one more liquid lip. I think this is also from the holiday gift set that I had gotten. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Fashion Legacy. It's so hard to swatch with my left hand. That's a really pretty red liquid lip. You know what I kind of want to do? Just for the sake of the video, I just want to swatch all of my red liquid lipsticks side by side. I want to see what I have, what looks the same, and that will really help me rather than going by brand. So let's do that. I don't really have many. That's the MAC one. Then we have Kat Von D Nosferatu. 
This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in the shade Heathers. Then we have the ColourPop Liquid Lip in the shade Creeper. Then this I got in an influencer package and I haven't even used it yet. This is the L'Oreal. It's in the color Worth It. I don't know what kind of lipstick this is. Oh, it's like glossy. Oh, I think these are the lip stains. Then we have the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Revere. This is actually kind of like orange. I do not like that color. Then Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Americano. It's more of like a brown red. Let's move down here. Oh, that's not even red. What am I doing? Get that out of here. Then we have the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malice. I love Kat Von D Liquid Lips. Then we have Milani, uh, a more matte lip cream in the shade Desire. And finally, we have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Monte Carlo. Okay, red lipsticks. We're keeping MAC. We're keeping Kat Von D, keeping Anastasia. Uh, we can keep the ColourPop one. It's kind of different than what we have. This, I want to try out a little bit more of this lip stain, so we're going to keep that. Going to pass on the ColourPop and the Kathleen Lights color. Going to keep this, pass on that, and pass on that. So, we're only keeping six. And I feel like that is a good range of color. You have every kind of undertone, so I'm happy with that. I don't wear red liquid lips too often, so I don't need a ton of options. I just need kind of like one in each color family. Like one of each undertone. These are staining my hands so bad. All right, so these are the liquid lips, the red liquid lips that we're gonna keep. Let's finish going through this one. I keep getting distracted, I don't know why. But these three are all ColourPop. These are their cream lipsticks, I think they're called. They're Luxe lipsticks. This is in the shade Third Eye. So all three of the ColourPop lipsticks are pretty much all nudes. We have Layover, What's Your Sign, and Third Eye. One of them is one of the Kathleen Lights collabs. I think it's What's Your Sign is the collab. I love all of these. They're all like a really nice formula, just the perfect nudes. Keeping those, they're all pretty new. I got them in the past year, so no need to pass those on. This is a Too Faced lipstick in the shade Pout About It. Oh, that's so pretty. How many nudes can one girl have? I mean, gotta keep it. I don't know, I just have to, it's so pretty. These are like me shades right here. Don't judge me, please. We already did declutter a lot, so that's good. This is a Bite Beauty lipstick, and this one, oh my god. So this lipstick, I will literally never declutter because it, it is the custom lipstick that I made at the Bite Beauty Labs in New York. It is so pretty. Oh wow. That's like a me color right there, obviously, since I made it. And it smells so good. It's a matte formula. I'm obsessed with this. I will absolutely never, ever, ever get rid of it. It was such a good experience. Definitely a nostalgic lipstick for sure. So keeping that one. This is my Lipstick Queen lipstick in the shade Jungle Queen. I just wore this in a video I showed in my uh, BoxyCharm video. I think it's such a unique shade. It's like an intense color, but it's kind of sheer. So it's definitely more wearable. I really like that. All right, then we have my little like sample size lipsticks that I just get from like Sephora in that like, you know, the last little section or as like a birthday gift. This is a Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade 6N. That's pretty basic. Don't necessarily need that. Then we have a Tarte lipstick in the shade Cabana Boy. That's pretty cool, like a purple. I don't really see myself wearing that ever, but could be interesting. And then we have a Marc Jacobs lipstick in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is really cute. I love the mini lipsticks. I like that a lot. That's like a cool, intense color that is definitely wearable. So I think we're going to keep the Marc Jacobs one. Probably pass on the Tarte one. I just don't see myself wearing that kind of like purple shade ever. So, goodbye. Let's dive into these drawers. These all go into my little, you know, acrylic organizers. These two lipsticks are both from Jouer. We have the shades Melon and Noisette. These are really nice. I love the formula on the Jouer lipsticks. And that is a really interesting, unique color, a very cool toned brown. And then we have Melon, which is complete opposite. This is a very nice peachy nude. So we're gonna keep both of these. I love the formulas on the Jouer lipsticks. And these are the only two I have right now. I should definitely get more of these. I don't know why I don't have more, kind of weird. 
Then we have my little baby. This is my Dose of Colors liquid lip in the shade Stone. This is the, again, I don't know what my deal is. I absolutely love the formula on this, but it's this is the only color that I have for some reason. And it's so unique. It's like a purpley, mauve nude. I really love that. We're going to keep it. Oh, I missed one Kiko product. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> this is the Kiko Double Touch 10 Hour Lipstick. These were pretty cool back then. This was like the liquid lipstick side and you let it dry and then you put the gloss on top for more of a shiny look, but it was still long lasting, but I don't need that anymore. This is a little mini Makeup Forever Liquid Lip in the shade 105. Ooh. So I really like that. It's very different, a very cool toned liquid lip. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever worn it, but I really like it. It's cooler toned than I think anything else that we've swatched so far, so. Yeah, pretty interesting. This is another mini liquid lip. I don't know where I get, oh, you know where I get all these? My freaking Ipsy bags. This is a the Bomb Cosmetics Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lip. It's like a very moussey texture. I think I might pass that on just because I don't really need it. I don't think I've ever worn it. It's kind of old. I might throw it out. It's a pretty color and I maybe one day like I'll go purchase the full size, but I don't feel like a connection to that. Then we have a mini Kylie Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit. I think this was given to me. Wow, okay. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think that's for me. No, thank you. Wow, we really downsized that drawer, guys. Like, what in the world? I just got rid of everything, I feel like. Let's move on to this one. This one's just like a mishmash, mix, match, mishmash, what? I don't know. This is just like a shit show of lipsticks. I have two of the Lorac Pro... What are these called? Matte Lip Colors. This one's in the shade Fuchsia, and then we have Ruby. These are actually really nice. I love the formula on these. These are very, like, intense, and they're kind of cool because you can line your lips with them and then easily fill them in. I feel like you can get a good shape, and they last a really long time, too. So that was Fuchsia, and then we have Ruby. I've actually worn that a few times. I'm going to keep both of those. I really like the colors, and they're pretty pigmented and a nice, like, powdery matte, so... Perfect. Then we have the Honest Beauty Demi Matte, what is this called? Lip Crayon in the shade Melon. I got this in, I think like an influencer package. And it's so pretty. It's not long lasting at all. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't claim to be. It's definitely more of like a sheer, shiny, like balmy lipstick, but that color is so nice. I really, really like that. We're gonna keep that. Okay, this is a Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> we'll pass that on. Don't really need that. Then we have two Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is the Bear It All. These are nice, really affordable dupes for a lot of the lipsticks that I have in my collection. That's a really nice nude. So we'll hold on to that guy. And then we have the lipstick in the shade Java. Why did I just do a circle swatch? That's a really interesting color. It has like almost a sheen to it. I don't know, like when it hits the light, it definitely shines. And it's a very dark brown. Hmm. I think we'll pass that on. I don't see myself reaching for that particularly. So, toodaloo. This guy, I love this. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, which might be weird. This is a Lancome Matte Shaker in the shade Olympia. These are so interesting. You open this up and there's like a little spongy thing that has the color on it. It's like very sheer but it dries down matte. I love this for the summer. I think it's just such a nice way to add a little pop of color without it being too intense for the days that you're kind of going for like a no makeup makeup look and then you just want a little pop of color on your lips. These are so cool. Next we have a Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Chihuahua. That's actually a pretty color. Mm hmm This is turning into a way longer video than I thought. We still have all this to go through. Let's finish this drawer though, and then I'll come back later and finish the declutter. So next we have an hourglass, um, well, it's one of the hourglass bullet, I think it was called like a bullet lipstick or something. I grabbed one of these one day. I thought it was so cool. I love this color. It's called I've Never. And these are a different formula. They're not very long lasting. They're very like 
sheeny. I actually really like this. I wear this a lot. I kind of just throw it in my bag and <clears throat> it's a nice like everyday kind of brownish peachy nude. This one's a newer lipstick. This is the Nude 6 Intense Matte. Oh, I didn't realize this is for your cheeks too. <gasps> what? Wow. Um, this is an Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Pixie. I love this. I think it's so pretty. Isn't that stunning? The perfect color. These are so easy to wear and throw on. I love that. And I love that it has a sharpener attached to it because half the time, these pencil lipsticks, once it gets to like be a nub, I end up just not reaching for them because I don't have a sharpener around. So I love that these come with a sharpener built in. Next we have a Smashbox lipstick in the shade B Legendary. Nope, I'm just kidding. It is a B Legendary lipstick in the shade Straight Up. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. Literally, I've never worn it because it's just, eh. It's too brown for me, I think. I don't really wear those chocolatey lipsticks. Not too into that, so we'll pass that on. We have two more. This is a NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade, uh, is that the color? Rikugian? I have no idea how to say that color. These are pretty cool. This is a nice, like, balmy nude, just an everyday kind of lipstick. I like those. And then we have a NARS Liquid Lip. This is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade American Woman. This is gorgeous. Oh, I don't know why I don't wear this more. That is such a beautiful color, a really nice formula too. I love the liquid the liquid lips from NARS because they're just very thin, but they're super pigmented. So you only need a tiny bit all over your lips and you are good to go. So, I mean, look at us guys. We were able to get two drawers into one. I mean, that's pretty impressive, I think. Do you think so? Pretty happy with that. All right, we are gonna take a little break. I might even break this video up into two parts, so we'll just have to wait and see, but I need to go get ready and go to work. So I apologize, I did not realize how long it was gonna take. Stay tuned for part two. I'll see you guys soon.